This video is to demonstrate how to set up your documents in MLA. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my Microsoft Word program. My version is 2010. If you're using a different version, then it may be a little bit different on how you set yours up. Same thing if you're using a different type of Word program, then of course you're going to have to kind of figure out where the buttons are and, and how to set up that document on your own. This is the main version that most of the computers at the college are set up to, so that's why I'm using this one to show it. First thing I always do is go ahead and just get the font in Times New Roman and 12 point. Also, just right off, I check the margins, make sure that they are all set at one. They already were, so that's not something I have to change. I also want to make sure that the spacing is set at double spaced, and I have to check these two little buttons. Neither one of these can say remove. If either one does, then that means that there is extra spacing in the essay. So I want to go ahead and click that last one. Now if I go back in here and check it, now those both say add. That is exactly what you want yours to say. So it should be two and then add add. Don't mess with it. Perfect. Good to go. Of course, before you even start, good idea to go ahead and get that header set up. That's where you have your last name and the page number. So to do that, you click the page number button, go to the top of the page, then it goes on the right hand side. So you can go ahead and click that. Of course, that is where you put the student's last name. And then you can just click out of that. Now, one other little thing to note, some instructors are going to want you to have everything in that font. That means you do have to change the font of this heading. Okay. It doesn't change with the rest of your document. So I changed it, now I can click out of it. To get back up here anytime, I can just double click on that top area and it immediately goes there. Double click lower, it comes out of it. Now where the cursor is right here, that is exactly where I would start typing the heading of the essay. So this is where you would put the student's full name and it should be first name, then last name, the instructor's name, And for the instructor's name, you can either say Professor Wertman or whoever professor it's for, or you can say the full instructor's name, Jennifer Wertman. Either is fine. The class. And again, for the class, you want to include enough information to really clearly make it clear which class you're in. So if you are in a Monday and Wednesday English 101 at 1.15 p.m. to 3.30 p.m., you would want to state that as well. And that all goes on one line. And then you also want to include the date. And then just to give you an example, just a reminder, when you do the date in MLA, you're going to set it up day, month, and then year, okay, like that. Again, yours wouldn't have the parentheses around it. After that, that is where you're going to have a content-based title. And anytime you have a title in MLA, you should center it. You don't do anything else with it. No underlining, no bold, nothing. Go ahead and get your cursor back over to the left-hand side. And you're going to click Tab. That's how you're going to get your first line of your paragraph indented. And then you can start writing your first paragraph. Okay. That is all there is to it for the basic visual format. This last name and page number automatically going to repeat and change on every page. This information right here will only be on your first page, so that doesn't get repeated. And then of course remember to indent that first line of every single paragraph.